What's up, Drifters? Ty Zano here. Today, we're diving back into Animal Crossing. Uh, let's get started. Yeah, so it, it's been a little bit since I touched on some of the Animal Crossing uh, game. Uh, yeah, I haven't played it, in, I think, about a week. So we're going to have to, yeah, pick some weeds and um, see what we can buy up in the shop and see if everyone's doing well. Maybe someone new moved in. Oh, Taizano, very good, great timing. It's completely slipped my mind earlier, but there's something very important that I need you to do for me, yes? I'd like you to represent Shoebill as a member of the Happy Room Academy. Now this could go a number of ways. My room looks kind of awful right now in this game. Now, it's not very difficult. All you have to do is arrange things in your house with a little style, a little flair. Well, to be fair, I'm, I'm not really getting any good furniture or items. We'll see what he has to sell, but I doubt it's going to make it much better. On occasion, the Academy will judge your interior design skills, and you'll get the results in the mail, hmm? All I ask is that you try to boost your score as much as you can. Yes, this is not so much to request, hmm? So how about it? Think you can do this? Um, yeah, leave it to me. I knew you'd say that. Of course, low scores won't do much for our town's reputation, and it wasn't exactly sorry to begin with. So, put some thought into your design, and be sure to keep your house spiffy, hmm? Clean now and then. Well, good luck. Yeah, thanks. Did I already get a shovel? Yeah, I already got a shovel. What is this? Recovery drum? Okay, that's not gonna make my house look better. I do like this shirt, though, so we will probably buy that. The height of fashion, or so claims, Fauna magazine. Would you like to try it on? Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, hey, I like this. I think everyone who's watching can probably see the vision with this one. So we are definitely going to buy it. I mean, our current shirt, it's pretty, pretty plain. And we got a raffle ticket. You have to use this month's raffle tickets this month. Don't forget now. I don't know when the raffles are, but yeah, we'll try to... We'll try to get to, we'll try to get the raffle. I'll try to figure that out. Thank you. Do come again. I look forward to seeing you. All right. Yeah, there's going to be a bunch of weeds in the town. And then we need to go and, wow, there is a lot of weeds. Hey, and there's something to dig up. So that's cool. One thing that's cool about more recent Animal Crossings is that you don't have to constantly pause to get into your little, uh, get into your menu and swap between the items you have you can just quick swap equipment that is something that i'm going to miss playing this one but there's some good things about this one like uh the gyroids collecting like that that's always one of my more favorite parts of this game and then i just i kind of like the dialogue that you see with uh villagers all right villagers what's going on taizano it seems like you normally come talk to me about this time right hey no it's not like i mind or anything uh, knock yourself out. Yeah, so what did you need me for? Uh, you got anything I can do for you? I just had something. Wait a minute. No, I guess not. Sorry about that. Alright, you might not have anything, but you might. Hey, nice afternoon, isn't it? Let's see, right now it's 2pm, right? Hee 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 hee. You silly old goose. Did you maybe oversleep? That's not healthy, you know. You should wake up at a more reasonable hour. So, you must have had some reason for coming to see me, right? Yeah, you got any work for me? Let's see... No, sorry, nothing much on right now. Ask me later. Wow, I was really hoping everyone in this town would have something for me to do. Kind of, uh... Need some tasks. Who knows, I mean, other than that, we can probably just, like, pick weeds and hope for the best from there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you hit these with a shovel, you have a chance to get stuff. Not those ones specifically, though. Pretty sure. Or maybe you have to have, like, a golden shovel for that? I'm not actually sure if I remember what the requirements on that were. Why, it's Taizado. How are you this fine day? Are you eating properly? I'll have you know that I recently gave up on my diet. Yes, I'm not ashamed, though. I mean, honestly. It's my own loss if I ruin my body, right? And besides, I'm cute enough as I am. Right. 
enough idle chit chat. Did you need something from me? Yeah, do you have anything I can do? Did you know that my boyfriend likes mounting huh? insects? You know, in display cases. He likes mounting fish too, but lately insects are his thing. Who knows why? Men are such odd brutes. Thing is, he wants me to help him. Me. Honestly, I have no desire to help out in this instance. I mean, really, insects. Please, you can't be serious. He is quite serious, so I was hoping you might catch a bug so I don't have to. You do have a bug net, right? Wonderful. I'm counting on you. I don't have a bug net, so I will not be able to do this. Unfortunate. The first task we get, we need a bug net for. And we don't have it, so we can't do that. Oh yeah, yeah, so the lost and found. If we get anything in here, we can we can take it for free. I mean, no one else is going to claim it. Oh, uh, sure, yes. Every item here is lost. I mean, we don't know who owns them. The items. You can take anything, I think. Yeah, see, that's what I said. So we'll just take everything. Oh, that's, uh, Papa Bear, I think. So, would that be yours? Oh, yeah, hey, that's mine. Yes, of course. You can take it, of course. That's fine. Go ahead. Shouldn't be a problem, I think. Yeah, we're just gonna quickly take everything. Yeah, so the coolest thing we got from that is this dragon shirt, so I'm going to wear that because on this channel, we are big Dragon Ball fans, so yeah, we're going to keep that. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I think you do need a golden shovel before you can get anything from that. Also, I can't remember if the first Animal Crossing, if you could put stuff in drawers and like closets and stuff, I, I don't remember for sure. I like to think that you could in this one, but I could be remembering that wrong. If anyone knows, if you could uh, let me know, that would be that would be helpful, honestly. I guess we could start sending in uh, fossils and stuff if we need to. But I think we gotta go talk to the museum first. That way we can get the address to start sending in fossils. Because then at least we can start filling out the museum. I'm not sure what my plans are in this Animal Crossing series, but I mean... One of the tasks could be to fill out the museum. I, I don't know how long I want this series to go for, what the overall goal is, but yeah, I think we could easily just uh, fill out the museum, maybe make a nice house and try to get a good rating. I'll have to check on like what are like what are the typical goals in the first Animal Crossing. It's been a while since I played this one, so and I, I know you gotta just play this forever and do whatever, but you know it'd be cool to have some goals and just finish them up. Well, if it isn't my neighbor, Taizano, why am I? Loafing about as usual this afternoon, are we? Looks like it's to me. Uh, he looks mad. Don't you have a job? You really should go get one. Hey, why are you even talking to me? You know, he says about getting a job, but Tom Nook fired me, so can't do anything. Can I help you out? I guess it has been a while since I let my videotape to that ingrate tangy. Can you find some time to go to Tangy's place and get it for me? Yeah, I can do that. Why? If you're going to do this, then get going. It's all you. You know, Chow, Chow's a cool character. I really mess with him. What we got going on here? Nothing. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell who my favorite in this village is so far, but Chow's been kind of a cool one. There isn't nothing to, uh, to dislike about him. You know, he's just, uh, whoops. He's just like the kind of character that, uh, he seems like he just doesn't want to be messed with, but at the same time, he's a cool guy, so. I guess we should look for the museum real fast before we go do this task for Tangy. I mean, not Tangy for Chow, but we have to go to Tangy, so. Museum's actually not that far from Chow, that's kind of interesting. I mean, it just helps us out. Rise and shine. Ooh, hmm. What time is it? I'm so very sleepy. Oh dear me, a thousand parted. So terribly sorry. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a night, um, owl? Yes. Yes, well, by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? Yeah, um, I got an item to donate. Ooh, I say splendid. What no doubt priceless item might you have for us today? Okay, I think I have to give him the fossil, and then he's going to tell me that I have to mail it. Who, indeed. Woohoo. An unexamined fossil. My heart is set a Twitter at the very thought. 
I am a fervent student of paleontology, and I'm fairly confident I can assess and identify of this specimen. However, I must confess I have yet to receive my certification, so I cannot offer an official examination. If I were mistaken, you see, I fear I would be, shall we say, severely chastised. Yes, quite severely indeed. I'm terribly sorry about this, but you'll need to send this to the main faraway museum for a proper examination. Incidentally, just by the by, I believe you've received a letter from the Fairway Museum, correct? Did I? I don't think- no, not yet. Well, who? No letter yet. Don't fret about it over much. I believe it should arrive sometime tomorrow. Once you receive it, you'll be able to correspond with the Farway Museum, and won't that be nice? Brilliant minds they have over there, simply brilliant. Please send them any fossils you'll happen to excavate. They will return your fossils as soon as they have finished identifying them. Rather tidy little system, don't you say? Oh, who? One more thing. While you're waiting for your initial correspondence from the Faraway Museum, you must not rebury fossils in the earth. This is very important, you see. Vital. Terribly crucial. Don't ask me why, to be perfectly honest. I'm not quite sure of the reasoning myself. It seems that reburying fossils creates some confusion about whether or not you're ready to receive that letter. Sounds a bit deaf, doesn't it? In any case, you don't have to carry the fossils with you, just don't bury them again. You may keep them in your flat. You could even scatter them about the landscape, I suppose, if you so desire. So, that as they say is that. I do hope it's clear. And I trust you'll follow my instructions to the letter. Is there anything else you would care to show me? No, that's everything. Actually, oh, this is terribly embarrassing, to be honest. We have nothing on display at this time. Dreadful, really. What we have here, when you cut to the quick, is a rather large, expensive, and thoroughly empty box. However, we are open around the clock and gladly accept donations from residents of Shoebill at all times. We do appreciate your support. All right, well, I gotta see if I got that letter. I, I don't think I got a letter for the museum. Maybe I did, I don't know. Also, speaking of sending letters, something we should do. Oh wait, let's go pull these weeds real quick. And we'll talk to him real fast too. Hey, how's it going? Everything going smoothly for you, Lion Cub? Oh, really? Great. That's music to my ears, Lion Cub, seriously. Anywho, you probably want something, don't you? So what is it? You got a job for me? Oh no, you have the worst timing. I just went out of my way to take care of something myself. I wish I'd known you were job hunting. And nobody in this uh, town wants me to do nothing. But yeah, like I was saying before, we should start sending these uh, fruits to people in letters. That way we can potentially get other kinds of fruits from other towns and stuff. I know there's a cherry over there. I can't get to it though, for some reason. There we go. Yeah, so if we send them to people, they have a chance to send us different fruit back. So then we can uh, get those fruit and we can sell them for more. What the heck? What the heck are they doing over there? Yeah. So we should probably get some of the. Man, there's so many weeds. I was I was not gone for that long. With the amount of weeds that are in this town, you would have thought I was gone for like a month straight. But no, I wasn't. I am gonna mail these letters real fast. Yeah, but I wanted to see if there was anything in the dump after I got that weed. But yeah. Wow, crazy. There was uh stuff to send letters, but. Oh, my pockets are full. Well, shoot. All right, now that we mailed those letters, we should, I don't know, put some of the stuff inside the house and just kind of, man, there's so many bugs to catch, but we don't have a net. What are you doing over here anyway? Good afternoon. So tell me, what did you want? Well, you got anything I can do now? Oh, perfect timing. I lent a glasses case to Chow the other day. Now I need it back. I've asked Chow to return it, but I'm sick of waiting and I don't have time to get it myself. I hate to ask this, but is there any way you can go pick it up for me? Yeah, I can do that. I, I just gotta go stop by Tangy and get the other thing. I know it's a lot of work, but I'm counting on you. Why would you give him a glasses case anyway? Like, I mean, don't you need them for your glasses? Oh, there's roaches in here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's see. They're going to look at this house and think this is terrible. I do want to see what this looks like. Oh, I like that, actually. All right, we got a gyroid in here also, so this is cool. How was there already... It came with a roach in it. That's crazy. What does this look like? Let's see. Can't put any more items. Is this a, like a big item? 
Yeah, that is huge. All right, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna leave that there. We got anything else to put in here? I know what everyone might be thinking. This house is a mess, but don't worry. Over time, we will fix this up. This won't look like this for forever. I hope. All right, now we just gotta go find Tangy. And, you know, while we're on the subject of villagers, who is your favorite Animal Crossing villager, uh, like, ever? It could be ones that are in this game, uh, in the newest games, or not even... They, they might not even be in any of the games anymore. I'm not in right now. Where the heck is Tangy at? But yeah, yeah, no, I just want to know what everyone's uh, favorite villagers are. Because I feel like there's a lot to choose from, and I feel like depending on the kind of person you are, or like what kind of town you're going for, everyone's got different favorite villagers. I've always uh, been a fan of just allowing any villagers to move in and just kind of growing with them and seeing their kind of personalities, or sometimes it, it really just depends, because it's like, in your head, you could be playing Animal Crossing, and the villagers you have in your town kind of create their own story and it makes it feel like you're actually like living in a new place it's one of my more favorite things about animal crossing it's kind of like this feeling of do i fit in or whatnot because i mean once you get to some of these villages in animal crossing some of the villagers are kind of like standoffish like they they kind of almost feel like they don't want you there which is interesting because when you go to a new place and you're meeting new people it can kind of be hard getting in there and meeting people Animal Crossing always gives me this vibe of like, this is the kind of place I'd like to live in like a small area like this, bunch of just nature around and you know, you just kind of do your own thing, which is cool. I mean, you know, it's, it's one of those cool things that I think everyone would love to be able to do, just have a nice peaceful life and just enjoy yourself. Animal Crossing is good about giving that vibe. Oh, there you are, Tangy. Ooh, wait, don't tell me. Are you Taizano? I mean, is that your name or not? Of course I didn't forget you, silly Billy. Uh, I've talked to you like eight bazillion times. I mean, I, we probably talked like three times. I don't know. So, what's going on? I'm here to pick up. Okay, here's Chow's videotape. Being that we're in the same village and all, I could return it myself, but will you do it for me? It's funny, because Tangy is like not that far from Chow's house. Alrighty then, don't forget. Why would you just be carrying a videotape around with you anyway? wonder what's on that tape anyway. What if it was the tape from the ring? That could actually be nuts. You know, you should, hey, do not watch that tape. Chow's just around passing out the, uh, the wicked tape from the ring. And now Tangy has watched it and it is, uh, it's lights out for Tangy, unfortunately. Wouldn't be surprised if we see Tangy moving. Hey, I got your tape back. You're just a never-ending fountain of energy, aren't you? Hey, why are you even talking to me? Look, bro, I got your tape. No doubt about it, that's my videotape. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Consider this outfit your reward, all right? I picked it out myself, so don't let me catch you complaining about it. All right, all right, all right, I won't, I won't. I'll say this one last time. Thanks. If I have more stuff to do, I'll ask you for help again. Be ready. Getting a lot of clothes this episode. I want fishbone. What's that look like? Oh, I like that. All right. Hey, we also need a glasses case from you. Oh, Taizano again. Hmm. Wonderful for me. So then, why are you here? I'm here to pick up glasses case. Here's Sydney's glasses case. I never should have kept it for so long. I'm bad. I'll send a letter apologizing to Sydney. But can you throw an extra sorry in for me when you return it? Yeah, I'll try. Well, you've been officially asked. Cool, let's go do it. All right, Sydney, special... Sydney? Oh, there you are. Special delivery. Good afternoon. So tell me, what did you want? I got you your glasses case. Wow, I'm so glad to see you. I can't believe you found my glasses case. You really are amazing. I, I want you to have this stationery. No, not more stationery. Please, you've done so much for me. I just can't thank you enough. Yeah, but... Don't have any more letters to send. Maybe I could find more cherries and I'll, I'll ship them that way. Did anyone new move into this town? Wait, someone new moved in. I didn't even notice this. We have a new person all the way over here. Okay, good thing I checked too, because I wasn't even sure. I, I would not have went over in this direction at all, because I almost had no reason to. There they are. Kiki. 
Hello, is this the first time we met, Kitty Cat? Because you don't look all that familiar. It is wonderful. I'm always happy to make new friends. Nothing more important than friends. My name is Kiki. I hope I'll be seeing a lot more of you from now on. Well, they seem nice. They got, they got huge eyes, though. Good afternoon. So, what can I do for you? I need a new, I, you know, I need some work. Let's see here. No, I can't really think of anything at the moment. Oh, well, I guess maybe a ball would help relieve my boredom. Bringing a ball. Dang. That's gonna be tough. That's one thing that you don't see in the future Animal Crossing games is that they used to have, like, these balls you could kick around, um, just in the overworld. But yeah, they, um, yeah, I think they got rid of them. At least I don't remember seeing them in New Horizons at all. Alright, let's go. I, I did see a ball earlier, so we can easily just kick that one forward. So let's go grab it. Oh, this is impossible. Oh, this is impossible. You can't kick it up the... Alright, this might be a task we cannot do. Well, yeah. You can't kick this up a hill. Can I pick it up? Nope. Yeah, so these are like the little balls you could kind of kick around in, um, in Animal Crossing, but... Yeah, they don't really have these in the new ones. Not that they serve much of a purpose. Why would you give me a task and the only ball I have to kick up a hill? Alright, we're not doing that task. I'll be honest, we just can't do it. This little spot over here would be so nice to have a house in. It's unfortunate you don't get to move your house around like in later games. Because yeah, I would have put it in that nice little area. Yeah, I just, yeah, I think you just need a um, good old golden shovel. I just don't think you can do that. So we should try to work to get a golden shovel if we can. That'll be a future task for us for sure. With that being said, I think that's going to be an episode. Uh, this episode's going to be a little shorter. Um, we're still getting set up in the town, so until we get all the items we need, and real realistically, when we're able to send letters to the museum and stuff like that, these episodes will probably get a little bit longer once we can start actually doing more tests. But right now, we only have the shovel, so until we get the net, the fishing pole, Maybe the axe. I don't I don't know if I'm going to be cutting down too many trees, but we'll, we'll decide there. Once we start getting more stuff, bigger houses, stuff like that, these episodes will probably grow a lot longer. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what games you'd like to see next. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to join the Drifters for more. I'm Taizano. Until next time, later.